Bihar is home to more than 2,000 registered startups. And so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 of the most noteworthy, and we're gonna be starting off in the capital city of Bihar, Padna. 900 of these 2,000 startups are based in Padna, and the city actually ranks as India's 14th best startup ecosystem, according to Startup Link. One of the reasons for this is IIT Padna, which is home to an incubation center. There's also Zero Lab, an ideation space designed specifically for startups created by the Bihar Industrial Area Development Authority. And then there's also Bihub, a startup hub and co-working space which has received support from the government of Bihar. So you've probably heard of the first startup on this list if you've been paying attention to India's agritech space at all, Dehat. It was last valued at $700 million and it was founded in 2012. So the company has five founders, Abhishek Tokanya, Adar Srivatsav, Amrendra Singh, Shashank Kumar, and Shyam Sundar, and they created this company to help farmers in their journey from sowing crops to selling them. The startup has over 11,000 Dehat centers, which provide farmers with easy access to high quality seeds, fertilizers, and farming equipment. And they also offer personalized advice to farmers at zero cost too. For example, if a farmer's crop has been infected by a disease and they don't really know what's going on, then they can take a picture of that crop and upload it to the Dehad app. And the Dehad team will tell them exactly what they need to do to fix that problem all for free. It's these kinds of helpful services which have enabled Dehad to build trust amongst farmers. And today, there are more than 18 lakh of these farmers who are registered on this platform. And all this has resulted in the startup bringing in revenue worth 1,965 crore rupees in FY23, making it one of the biggest agritech startups in the country. Okay, so the next startup on this list is solving one of the biggest problems faced by people who are living in rural India, and that's lack of access to adequate medical care. And this company was founded in 2017. It's called Medishala. The company was started by Mohammed Amanullah, Prince Kumar, Ritraj Swami, and Suman Saurav, and here's how they're doing it. See, at this point in 2023, a lot of people living in villages in India are comfortable using their smartphones to access platforms like YouTube and Facebook, but many of them struggle to actually book online consultations with doctors using platforms like Practo and PharmEasy. And to make matters worse, more than 60% of primary healthcare centers in India have just one doctor. And these were issues that the founders of this company faced personally while they were growing up. They had to skip classes just to help their parents book appointments with doctors. And so that's what gave them the idea to start Medishala, where they started tying up with local pharmacists to help people in rural India book online appointments and conduct simple tests, creating digital clinics and making doctor consultations more affordable and accessible to people living in rural India. So far, Medishal has partnered with over 450 doctors, helping more than 1.5 lakh patients across the country. All right, moving on to the next startup on this list, we have a company that's disrupting Bihar's unorganized cab market, and that's Roadbiz. Founded in 2022 by Dilkush Kumar, Roadbiz is making one-way outstation trips more affordable for its users, cutting down costs by as much as 50%. But how? Well, in small towns, when people have to travel to a different city, cab drivers often charge double the fare for these trips. Why? Well, it's because of the uncertainty certainty that they have about maybe not finding a passenger for the return trip. In fact, some of these drivers end up staying in their cars for days until they can find a passenger for the round trip back to the original town. But Rodbez has found a solution to this problem. So let's say there's a driver who wants to take a passenger from Patna to Darbanga, and there's a passenger in Darbanga who wants to get to Patna. So Rodbez just connects these two, and this is a simple solution to help passengers save money and for drivers to save valuable time while making an assured trip back. Today, Rodbez has more than one lakh users on its platform and is making 5 lakh rupees in sales every single month. Okay, so the last Badna based startup on this list offers 24 by 7 emergency ambulance services to its patients, and that's Hanuman Care. The company was founded in 2020 by Deepak Jha, Dr. Niraj Jha, and Santosh Singh, and historically, the ambulance industry in India is highly unregulated, and prices can go as high as 20,000 rupees for a 10-kilometer journey during a time of crisis. And that's the problem that Hanuman Care wanted to solve, and they're doing this by bringing a fixed price model to make ambulance services more accessible and transparent. They're charging 700 rupees plus 15 rupees per kilometer for basic life support ambulances and 300 rupees plus 35 rupees per kilometer for advanced life support ambulances too. With over 1,200 vehicles in their fleet, the startup promises to provide an ambulance within 30 minutes of an emergency and their no refusal policy makes sure that every customer in need gets an ambulance. The startup is operational in Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, and Mumbai, and they've already carried over 1 lakh patients. What's more, they've already raised half a million dollars from their investors
members to expand their presence to more states across the country. Now that we've visited the capital city of Bihar, let's move on to the sixth most populous city in the state, and that's Darbanga. And one interesting startup-related fact about this city is that the Mithila Angel Network, which is the first bootstrapped incubator and angel investment group in the region, is located in this city. So the first startup that I want to talk about from Darbanga went insanely viral when it was featured on the first season of Shark Tank India, and that's Jaji. The founders of this company are two sisters-in-law, Kalpna Ja and Uma Ja, and they're both in their 50s, and they hail from a small town in Bihar where women don't often even work, let alone start businesses. But Kalpna and Uma are different. With the help of their families, they turned their passion of making pickles into a business and started Jaji in 2021, offering 15 different varieties of pickles online. When they pitched Jaji on Shark Tank India, the sharks were really impressed by their business skills, but decided not to invest. But their pitch also impressed the audience, and their sales grew 5x from 5 lakh rupees to 25 lakh rupees per month. And in the second season of Shark Tank India, Vinita Singh and Namita Tapar decided to invest 85 lakh rupees into this company. Today, Jaji is making 80 lakh rupees every single month from their pickles. Moving on to the next startup on this list, we have a grocery delivery startup, D2 Hut. Founded in 2020 by Hasibo Rahman, this company was started with just 10,000 rupees. And out of this 10,000 rupees, 5,000 rupees were spent on website development alone. But here's the thing. This website, this company, was the first of its kind in Darbanga. Nobody was delivering groceries online in the region. People were pretty comfortable buying groceries from their neighborhood Kirana and didn't really trust online businesses that much. But Hasibor, being a local, understood these problems and allowed people to order their groceries directly using WhatsApp and pay with cash. This enabled Dita Hut to win the trust of local people, and today they're delivering groceries to over 500 homes every single year, making more than one crore rupees in revenue in 2022. In fact, after seeing the success and hustle of Hasibor, the Mithila Angel Network ended up investing in Ditohad and supporting their local startup ecosystem. Okay, so the last startup on this list from Darbanga is another company that was founded by two women founders, and that's I Mithila. It was started by mother and daughter-in-law duo Renuka Kumari and Ruchi Ja in 2016. And basically what this company is doing is reviving and promoting traditional Mithila art by using it in everyday products like saris, bags, paintings, and other decorative items and selling it online. Now, creating traditional Mithila art takes a lot of time, since it's made using a variety of tools like fingers, twigs, brushes, and matchsticks. This art is also created using natural colors and is also handcrafted by artisans, which is why it's never really been turned into a scalable business before. But iMithila is trying to change that because instead of taking custom orders from their customers and creating products on demand, iMithila builds an inventory using their own designs and then lets customers order from them using their online store. Today, iMithila is working with over 100 artisans and local vendors to create these beautiful products and they ship their products not just within India, but internationally as well. All right, so the eighth startup on this list is from the city of Buxar, and what they're trying to do is preserve the heritage of this city by keeping it clean. So this startup's name is Recycling Bazaar, and it was founded by Vivek Kumar, along with his college friends Prashant Gautam and Pradumna Upadhyay in 2017. Their mission is to make Buxar a zero-waste city, but recycling and waste management has always been a problem in Bihar, and so this is a very difficult issue to solve. In fact, only about 50% of people in Bihar use use municipality trucks to dispose of their household waste while others dump it on the streets or burn it. And so the idea of this startup and their business model is pretty simple. They'd buy recyclable waste like paper, plastic, and batteries from people's homes and sell that waste to recycling plants for money. And this is the same process that regular scrap dealers go through, but Recycling Bazaar wanted to do it on a bigger scale. And so in order to achieve that, they actually allow their customers to schedule waste pickup times at their convenience. What's more, they were able to get seed funding worth 10 lakh rupees under these startup Bihar scheme for their company, and so far they've collected over 50,000 kilos of waste from more than 5,000 customers in Buxar, and are now even providing their services to various corporates too, like IIT Patna, Patna Airport, and Varanasi Railway Station. Okay, the next startup on this list is located in a city about 35 kilometers from the India-Nepal border, and they're popularizing a Bihar superfood called Satu. Founded by Sachin Kumar and Richa Kumari in 2018, Satu's was featured on Shark Tank India, and what they're selling is this amazing drink made out of roasted chickpea, which contains high protein and fiber content. But the problem with this snack is that there are some people who don't like the taste, and also it takes time and patience to make it at home, which many people don't have. That's why Satu has created three different flavors of ready-to-drink Satu mixes, which can be added to water and consumed. But here's the thing. Even though their product was pretty good, Satu's was not doing well in sales, which was one of the reasons why they didn't get any funding from Shark Tank India. However, the feedback that the sharks gave them was invaluable. They told them to launch a new ready-to-eat eat Satu Mix, and so soon after Shark Tank India, they
they launched this new product and their sales skyrocketed from just 30 lakh rupees to 1.5 crore rupees every single year. And the last startup of this video is from another city in Bihar, Bhagalpur, where about 75% of the city's workforce is involved in agriculture. And so this company, Step Up Afi Labs, is helping these farmers to increase their profits with their agricultural equipment. Step Up Afi Labs was founded in 2019 by IIT Karakpur alumnus Ajit Kumar. And unlike other agricultural equipment manufacturing companies, Step Up Afi has differentiated themselves by creating battery and solar powered equipment. See, most of the heavy machinery used by farmers on a day-to-day -day basis run on diesel fuel, and this has been the norm for a long time, but it also comes with recurring fuel costs and maintenance costs for these machines. However, Step Up Afi almost completely completely eliminates these recurring costs since the maintenance cost for battery and solar power machines is negligible. Step Up Afi's machines allow farmers to save between 60 and 70% compared to traditional equipment, and thanks to their innovation, Step Up Afi was featured at a recent G20 Agri conference too. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I went to Bihar back in 2017, loved the time that I spent there. I was hitchhiking through the state, had an amazing experience, met a lot of incredible people, and I wish all the startups in this video success in building their businesses. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.